Hudson. This is Hudson, my 15-2 thoroughbred, Cross. And uh, we are going to show you today the Myler Bit egg butt snaffle with hooks. Now the word hooks itself, it can be a little confusing. I wouldn't call them hooks, I'd call them slots. And so I put one on Hudson today to show you. But the function of the hooks is so that you can put the cheek piece into that little slot there. Normally, the cheek piece goes around um, the whole piece of metal of a snaffle bit, and it does slide around a little bit as you pull on the reins. But this is not going to slide because it is right inside that slot. Now also, there is another hook at the bottom of the bit. Normally, we, can put, we put our rein just around the whole piece of metal of the snaffle ring. And you could still do that. You could still use this bit that way. You don't have to put it in the hook here. But um, if you are wanting a little more leverage to encourage a little more flexion um, and give to the bit, which is always uh, very nice and wonderful in a riding horse, you can put the rein through that hook. So I'm going to put that back through the hook. And this is just a very mild snaffle bit made by Myler. It has the curvature um, that allows room for the tongue. And maybe I'll take it off and show you the bit before I'm, I'm through here. But um, you can see that when I pull on this rein, it is going to rotate the bit, the whole ring a little bit forward, which is going to pull ever so slightly on the cheek piece, which is going to pull ever so slightly on the pole, and that will encourage the horse to flex here and flex him, flex as you apply the reins. <laughs> so that is the idea between, behind a Myler bit, snaffle bit with hooks. And so um, it really is a little step above a plain snaffle in asking the horse to get to the bit. So I hope that's helpful. And let me take this off so you can see the bit before we're through. Hopefully Hudson won't go anywhere. I'll put the reins over his head. So there you have the Myler bit um, that was in his mouth with, you can see the curvature to the mouthpiece, and then you can see the cheek pieces inside the hooks. So I hope that's helpful. Hudson was very bored during that. <laughs>